Hello, welcome. In this lesson, we are going to create a rig like this one, which has a flexible torso, a flexible neck, and uh, the hair has the follow through effect, as you can see here. And we have some uh, extra controls like this. You can move the head and the neck will follow. As I said, we can rotate the head from the neck. We can move the whole body. We can flex the torso or we can make it bend completely or combine both movements. As you see, the legs are following the movement and we also have this control in the chest that will help us to create movements like this. You can use it for breathing, for some anticipations and it can move like that. Okay, uh, well the legs have all the controls that the outer rig can create, this is Duik, so it has this kind of movement, this kind of movement and this one. You can check my previous video about how to set this up, it's very easy actually. We are gonna focus on the chest and head on this one. Okay, let's start. To start, we are going to uh, check this illustrator file to see how it's set up. First, you can see a layer of markers. This is gonna help us to uh, locate the anchor points of the limbs, basically, arms and legs and the ones in the torso are going to help us to find the location of the puppet pins we are going to create. You can see here that the torso is a, well, a group of uh, shapes and it's in its own layer and these markers uh, you have to check where you locate them this one is uh, for the position of the head. Basically, we're going to use that point to have a, well, a pivot point for the head. This one is going to do the same thing, but for the neck. This one for the chest. This one for, for the center of the body or the belly. And this one for the hips. These two are at the same uh, height, but these are not going to be puppet pins, they are just markers so we can move the anchor points of the ties. These ones are going to be uh, puppet pins, this and this one. And if I move this, you can see they are still on uh, on top of the of the torso or the body okay then well here in the food we have these layers that if you saw my previous video are for uh, the doing outer rig so it can create more controls on the foot okay so with this ready I'm going to uh, take it to After Effects here. Oh, uh, always remember when you save your Illustrator file that you have to uh, activate this, well, check this checkbox to make it to activate the PDF compatible file so After Effects can recognize the multiple layers. So I'm just gonna drag my file to the project window and 
as composition, layer size, ok. Double click. And since we are going to work on a rig, it's easier if we take this, the timeline, and move it to the side, make some room, and let's bring Duik. By the way, the link to download Duik it's going to be in the description along with the Patreon site of the creator so you can donate if you can. Doik is a great tool so if you can donate <laughs> you, you do it please. Okay so oh, one thing I'm going to look for the effect controls I'm going to drag it to the side. And that's it. Okay, to start I'm going to activate the continuously rasterize on all the vector layers. I'm going to lock this markers layer, the background too. And now I'm going to uncheck this uh, option. Uh, on the layers that are going to use puppet pins because they can't have this option activated or there will be some errors so torso have to uh, be unchecked same thing for hair and the foot both foot both feet okay now let's focus on this part. I'm going to solo this layer, phase two. Oh, phase. Uh, let's take it out for, for now. Markers and a uh, background. Going to zoom here. And let's go to our puppet pin tool and make our first pin here. Now, if you have the latest version of After Effects, it's going to say Density, and here in Puppet Engine, it's going to say Advanced. Let's change it to Legacy, OK. And if you select this, now it has to say Triangles, and that's fine. Uh, let's put 900. If you are in an, in an older version, it's fine. It, it will be, it will say triangles from the start, so it's fine. And now let's continue. The next one. And the last one for now. Now let's go here and we have to name each one. First one is going to be head. Second one neck this one is chest this one is uh, center or belly and this one is hips okay now we click here on the form Go to Duik and click on Bones. Now we have these bones that control the puppet pins, well, the pins from the outside. And the next step is select all of these, press R to see rotation. And let's go into well, we are going to make uh, some childs, a chain of childs actually. So head has to be the child of neck, neck the child of chest, and all the way to the top. And now hips 
if I move it, it controls everything. If I rotate here, it rotates everything. And uh, we can test which, uh, what of each of, well, of these one layers uh, does. And if you see the last one, head, doesn't make anything. Okay, perfect. Now let's go to add some expressions. Here, head actually doesn't matter. It won't change anything. Let's start here. Alt click. And let's take this. I'm going to make some room here. Let's take this to the one on the top. So now the chest rotation controls the neck rotation. And now same thing same thing here. I'll click and take this to the one on the top. And let's uh, stop here. So this one is controlling basically the ones below. So if I change this value, we have a flexible torso. And if we change this value, everything rotates. And that's it. Now, if you uh, see here, it's deforming too much. So let's going to fix that. Let's click here. Hold the click and look for the starch tool. Come here to the torso and let's click here. Now amount 1% is fine, extend 80, that's fine too. And this is going to protect this area so we don't uh, bend too much the, the, the artwork here. So let's test and it's much better. Now I want to protect this side, this part on her neck. So let's click here again. We have the starch tool and one click here. Now 80 is, is too much. So let's let's put Sixteen is fine, so it protects this area. Now let's see how that looks. Much better, so let's leave it there. I'm going to change my tool. And now I can activate the solo on the face. I'm going to go to my pan behind tool click here on the face and change the anchor point to this location and I'm going to make this child of the head bone so let's see perfect now I'm going to add some extra controls using Duik first let's, let's select the hips go to controllers and we can lift this in a small or oh, let's try medium actually let's change this to maybe white and just click on create and it creates this control in the same position as the layer we had selected in this case hips and puts a C uh, as a prefix uh, the C is for control so let's remove this B and just call it control hips now if I press P we have this position but I want this to have a zero position 
so it's like the starting point or the starting position and we have this option let's click here zero and now it creates a new layer that absorbs the the position we had before and now this can be zero and zero now press shift a to call the anchor point and let's move this to the side as you can see position is still it's still zero zero perfect now let's make these hips the bone child of the control and now we can do this oh by the way since this bone is the parent of everything uh, on this layer of all the pins we can make this torso child as well so everything moves together oh watch out and that's that's fine now i'm going to create an effect control 5 to call my effects and presets window expression controls and angle control enter and i'm going to call these hips I'm going to lock this and let's see what we are going to do. I want this rotation of this control. I want this to control the rotation here in the belly. So we can make uh, this flexible movement from this. So we have to alt click here to go to the expressions. Oh, actually escape before I have to press R here to see my rotation and now again I'll click on the belly let's take this whip here rotation and that's it now check this if I press W to go to this tool if and I rotate this I'm rotating the whole torso but also making it flex so I'm combining the movements and it looks fine so so it's perfect actually now what if I just want to move this without any bending I'm going to use this control I created I'm gonna press Alt here take this here now I can remove this lock and I can move everything from here I can make it bend and I can rotate the whole thing if I want to perfect now we're going to add some control to the head, head and neck. I'm going to select this one, head, B head, the bone. I'm going to go to do it again. Controls, create. And I'm going to press A and I'm going to move it to the side now press enter I'm gonna remove that B again and check this we're going to take this uh, this control and make it part of the chain we have here this one with all the, the pins in the torso I'm going to take this one and I'm going to put it here between neck and head now I'm going to take this 
and make it child of head and head is going to be a child of neck that's it now what happens everything is working fine you can see but this will let us make this we can control the movement of the head and the neck is following you can see that the shoulders are moving too much we're going to fix that in a moment but we have this now I want to control the movement of the neck separately from the movement of the torso because right now you can see the neck is flexing too but I'm going to change that I'm gonna press oh, I'm gonna take this to the top first and here in the neck I'm gonna press R I'm gonna click here to see the expression and I'm going to remove it and I'm going to replace it oh, actually escape I have to show the rotation here of the head and now again delete this and replace it with the rotation of the head and what happens now if I press W I have this movement I can control the rotation of the head from the neck and this controls the uh, torso um, perfect now what if I want to rotate just the head without the neck moving I'm going to create another control here now in the neck I'm going to call it head rotation I'm gonna lock it here and let's find that layer it's here I'm gonna press R I'll click and let's take this one and I can unlock this one and now this moves the head this rotates it from the neck and with this I can only rotate the neck or well, the head if I want perfect now I'm going to collapse all these and I'm going to add one more control here on the chest let's go to do it again controllers and this time I'm going to uncheck rotation and just leave it uh, leave the, these two arrows and create actually this time it's too big so I'm going to return here controllers small and instead of create let's click on update and that's it I'm going to remove that B and we're going to do a similar process than we did with the neck let's take this here between belly and chest and let's make the bone chest child of the control chest and this one is child of belly now you can put this up here and I can move the chest this is perfect if you want to make the character breathe or move now again we're going to be we are seeing some deformation on the shoulders we're going to fix that in a moment now I don't want to control the rotation of the chest with this because it is going to deform too bad so I'm going to I'll click here I'm gonna put zero and that's it so I cannot change it accidentally and everything else is working fine
perfect. Now I'm going to add uh, a couple of pins here in the torso. Let's go to our puppet pin tool and let's click here and here. Let's find those new pins. Oh, something I was forgetting to explain. I'm going to return here. As you can see, everything on the left side is named with an A before. A hand, A foreground, A arm, or oh, forearm. Uh, same thing from the legs. A feet, A foot, A calf. And the right side, it's called, well, it has a B at the beginning of the name. So I use that. Uh, that method to to make it easier to uh, to realize why what side I'm working on. So this side it's A. So this is going to be A shoulder, and this one is B shoulder. Now let's select just these two go to bones and we have these new bones and they have to be child of or, or children of uh, let's see chest now if I move this everything moves much better And that's it. We have basically everything we need to create the movement we want. We have this. We have this movement. Now, if you well, you try to don't make extreme position here, or if you want, you can add some more starch uh, pins. But uh, let's try to not exaggerate these movements. But the bending movement works perfect. And here too. Now I'm going to set the rest of the rig pretty, pretty quickly. Let's uncheck all the solos. And I'm just going to show you how to create the uh, the arm using auto rig. So you just have to use these markers to change the location of each layer. And once you do that, you just select the three, well, in this case, the three layers that you need. Go to outer rig, check you are using plantigrade, front leg arm. And if we name everything correctly, Duik is going to recognize it, but always double check. Here it should be arm, not forearm. Forearm goes here and hand here. We can leave the rest unchecked and OK. And that's it. We have the Duik uh, joint. And I'm going to do the same for all the rest. OK, so I have uh, locate all the anchor points where they should be on the arm and both legs for the foot or the feet here I had to create a few pins, a few bones use the starch tool in a couple of places to be able to use the uh, outer rig for the leg as I mentioned before you can check this process on my previous video so now I just have, just have to select everything related with this leg from a heel to 
a tide a food actually we don't need it go to outer rig planting grade back leg and everything should be uh, properly selected this one is tight golf uh, foot toe steep heel everything is fine okay so now we have this but have to change the direction of the bending and that's it we have these controls thanks to auto rig and let's do the same from the other leg from B heel to B tight and unselect B foot back leg everything is fine check this disorder tight calf B foot B toes B tip B heel okay and that's it let's click here and everything is fine oh, the arm is pretty easy arm forearm hand okay and that's it now just have to uh, connect everything to the torso the hair is going to be the child of the face the uh, both legs actually both thighs have to be child of this bone hips so let's take it to the hips and that's it I like to uh, leave this uh, this a stretch the auto stretch activated for the legs but the activated for the arms I find that useful for the legs and now to finish oh I have to select this arm it's it's a arm and it has to be child of a shoulder this one and this one has to be child of B shoulder so perfect now the hands are not following because these controls are not following so uh, you can see that they are childs of these layers and these are the, the layers that do it creates so the position is zero out so we have to find them here it's this one and this is the other one now let's select both and they have to be child of a, of one of these bonds they can be for example child let's make a child of this control to see what happens and that's hips but the problem if we do this is that we have this bending here and I don't want that so let's make it instead child of this one B chest and now it works perfectly we can uh, bend the arms as we want and they will follow exactly as we want to and that's it uh, well uh, I'm going to explain the hair in the next video it's going to be much much easier believe me the hardest part was the torso and set up all the extra controls I think I'm just going to lock everything that we don't need to animate any longer or actually move any longer we can take this out for from the bones we don't need to see them 
we don't need to see the markers either and we can activate the shy on everything below now click here and that's it if you select here and press P we can see that everything is zero out but these two so let's zero them out head zero chest zero and that's it oh white is actually not helping that much now so I'm going to select all the controllers click here click on this color maybe and just make it darker and that's it let's save for project and I see you on the next video but before finishing this one uh, please subscribe if you like this video if you learn leave a comment if you want to see something else or if you have any question about the process uh, you can give me a thumbs up so more people can see this video you are welcome to share it with your friends and you can also follow me well, on Facebook or Instagram where I share most of my process and my my work so see you on the next video bye bye